And now news in detail. Agriculture sector is perhaps one of the hardest hit by the water scarcity in our country. To solve this problem, many a times, farmers use wastewater for the purpose of irrigation. But this wastewater can contain toxic and hazardous waste products, which ultimately affects the quality of the crops. Now, tackling this issue innovatively is the project Water for Crops from CSIR NIRI. The project promotes recycling of household and industrial wastewater by making it fit for irrigation. And how do they do this? Let us find out. From households to farm fields, most of our daily activities are dependent on one resource, water. With increasing population and dwindling resources, water is fast becoming a scarce commodity. And most affected by water scarcity is the food production sector involving crop fields. What if the domestic and industrial wastewater can be treated and used in crop production? This is what CSIR NEERI's Water for Crops project is all about. Water for Crops, an Indo-European research and development project funded by Department of Biotechnology and coordinated by Dr. Asha A. Juvarkar from CSIR's National Environmental Engineering Research Institute has come up with an efficient technology to treat domestic and industrial wastewater using phytosystems to make them fit for irrigation. Uh, we uh, got one uh, Indo-European project in which uh, the title is Water for Crop in which uh, one of the task is uh, bio-treatment of wastewater from agro-food industries and sewage. The wastewater treatment phytosystem, known as engineered constructed wetlands, is an advanced kind of constructed wetlands which makes use of a combination of biological, chemical and physical processes and makes use of natural materials, sunlight and plants to purify wastewater. The wetland system which we have constructed here is about 5 meter by 3 meter in dimension and it consists of mainly sand, soil and gravel to be the filter media. Along with this we have taken the plants from the particular wastewater where we have taken the wastewater itself. The wastewater which has been treated comes to the outlet or the collection tank. This wastewater after treatment is being used for irrigation. The engineered constructed wetlands mimics the processes occurring in natural treatment wetlands. But the operating conditions are more actively monitored, manipulated and controlled than the ordinary constructed wetland systems. Under the project, a pilot scale of the system has been constructed in a crop field at Pandher Kavara village in Nagpur district with the dimensions 5 by 3 by 1. The ECW comprise an inlet tank, a filtration unit and an outlet tank. While the heavier sediment particles along with attached nutrients settle out in the basin, the pollutants are filtered out by the filtering media like coarse sand, soil and gravel of different sizes. The plants and the communities of microorganisms take up nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus and purify the water, which can then be used for irrigation. Inka plan dala, abhi wo plan mein wo pani filter karke abhi dal rahe to thoda achcha gri dala. Kuch crops ne pani dal rahe, kuch crops ne raw water material chal raw water hai ki nahi, wo chalu hai. To isme jo raw water ka hai, to uska grit kam aara, aur uska grit jada aara. जो इसका पानी अपन यूज कर रहे हैं अभी में और ऊपर उस पानी के अपन अपन पानी से जब वो मिट्टी लगती है लिखती तो अपने को पैरों में हाथों में खुजली होती थी इस पानी से कुछ हो नहीं रहा तो एक अच्छा कारण बन गया इसका। The system makes use of plants like typhae, latifolia, 
Vetiveria, Zyzenoids and Lemongrass for their capability of diffusing oxygen through the roots which help in reducing the chemical and biological oxygen demand and also aids in the absorption of harmful pathogens. Costing only 20 to 30,000, the engineered constructed wetland provides a decentralized low-cost option for the recycling of wastewater for irrigation in small local farming communities.